hello friends uh, in this video i am going to show you how to secure an application rule in pega how to secure an application rule in pega so for example let me log into the dev studio and open my application rule open my application rule okay this is my application rule sbi app l application rule so by default uh, you cannot see this field supply password to update this supply password to update this by default uh, by default it is not available so go to the security tab here there is an option required password to update an application rule required password to update an application so once you select this checkbox hello for example not required save not required save okay so that means see okay i will explain okay save okay by default the password update password field is not visible so here see this one there is a security tab in the application rule application security here required a password to update an application so what is the purpose of this configuration means um, in the real time so they will provide a security to they will provide or they can set a password to this application rule so that uh, only few people can update the application rule so application rule means it is a very very important rule because uh, some developers if they want to make any changes to this rule set version for example i have a sbi application 010103 now suddenly if some people want to update this because they have checked in they have checked in uh, some rules they have checked in some rules into the 010104 if they want to test it okay if they if they want to if they can modify this application rule so those rules can be available to all the people who are accessing who are working for this application so that's why in the real time they don't want to allow to update or to make some changes in the application rule without i mean uh, without a team leader permission or without a senior developer permissions because it will impact it will impact to the other developers if they want even some people want to add production rule set if some people want to modify this production rule set versions so like this due to some reasons or due to any reasons if some people want to add a branches or some people want to delete the branches unfortunately if they delete the branches again see uh, some rules will won't work like this there are lot of reasons but usually a simple example is i have a one rule set version now if i want to add or modify or decrease the rule set versions it will impact to the other developers that's why i want to protect my application rule so in that case if i want to make any changes we need to get a confirmation from the concerned person due to so on so on reason i want to make the changes in the application rule then he will provide a password or the consent person will update the rule the consent person will update the rule why because you know right uh, if the development environment okay fine no issue if the same rule is available in the test stage and production if some developer forcefully or some developer or some person is directly updated the changes in the production what will happen you know i don't want to explain if by making any changes in the application rule if suddenly someone removed the rule set version gone the entire application won't work sometimes you will get a lot of exceptions you will get a lot of errors because the application rule was modified then immediately your application stack was disrupted that's why to maintain the security to this application rule they will configure the password so now required a password to update the application now update the password i am just giving whatever the password you want you can give it my i am giving suresh suresh now just submit say okay sorry because this rule set version is not there say okay require a password
Suresh. That's it. So going forward, if you want to make any further changes in the application rule, for example, if I want to add 0101, click on save, it won't allow you to make any further changes because supply password to update this. Okay, I'm just giving Suresh save, then your changes will be saved. So, uh, I'm just giving uh, some real time practices, best practices. Okay. I hope you understand what is the purpose of uh, this security application security require a password to update an application so then immediately we need to supply the password not only this one there are some places for example open this rule set version so here also there is an option enter a password values to update this rule set because in the real time especially some secure applications so they don't want to allow to make any changes by any developer Okay, so based on their confirmations only, they can update the rule set versions. For example, I don't want to allow my team to create the rule set version. So there is an option, there is an option. Go to the security, there is an option. Define a password to add a rule set version. I'm just giving an example. Here also, I'm providing Suresh. Click on save. Now, add a new rule set version. Okay, click on create. Enter a password to add or update a version. See, enter a password that matches the password, define the rule set version to add it. Like this like this now if you want you can define a password so whatever the password i have given suresh because this suresh is different this password is different that application password is different now click on save now the new rule set version got added like this similarly you can uh, update the rule set version to update the rule set version and to update this rule set this is only specific uh, for the rule set version that means if you want to add or if you want to update any rule set version but this is to make any further changes or to make any update in the rule set level, not only rule set version to make any further changes. For example, if you want to modify this configuration, if you want to modify this rule set type from standard to etc. Then if they define any password for this configuration, then you have to enter this. So could be. Okay. Uh, like this you can protect the rule set and rule set versions and application rules. I hope you understand the video. Thank you.